Officials in Baltimore are planning to create a temporary passage near where the bridge collapsed last week. Federal officials say the temporary channel will let ships access the port while a permanent solution is worked on. The temporary passageway will be marked with navigational aids to help captains cross it. Federal officials are not sure when the alternate channel is expected to open. And a man who crossed the Francis Scott Key Bridge just before it collapsed is sharing his experience. Larry DeSantis says he was driving to work early Tuesday morning, roughly 10 minutes before the collapse. He said he was driving at an average speed as there were police and construction crews on the bridge. A co-worker called Larry after he got over the bridge, and that was the only reason he knew what was going on. While I'm sitting at the light, the woman from here called me and said, where are you at? Because she knew I was, you know, she said, did you go home? Or you? I said, no, I just went over the bridge. She said, well, it just collapsed. And they still haven't found some of them. It's sad. It really is. I mean, I mean they're doing their job. Larry says he is still in shock, especially because he knew some of the people working on the construction crew who died in the collapse. He said he drove right by them moments before. He adds that he is grateful to be alive.